welcome to today's mandala flow. For today, no props are needed. Uh, today is going to be a hands-free class. So whenever you have your space to practice, go ahead and meet me in uh, Tadasana at the top of your mat. So coming onto your mat here, feel free to take gentle sways from the back side to side. Just to feel the earth make your feet settle in. Focus your energy inward. And give your mind and body the space to focus onto the breath. Start to make those sways smaller and smaller until you settle into your center, your grounded shape here. Settling into all four corners of the feet, the big toe, the pinky toe, the outer and inner edges of the heel. Find a gentle lift of the inner arch to officially ground yourself into the earth. And then pull the energy all the way up through the leg. Gentle tuck of the tailbone at the hip bones, face forward. Chest widens, collarbones spread wide. As you stand nice and proud. And that energy lifts all the way through the crown of the head, reaching tall. Standing with purpose. And feel free to find a gaze straight ahead, focusing on a point straight ahead of you. Or you can soften the gaze, close the eyes. whatever feels natural for you. Shoulders are down away from the ears, maybe open the palms out in front of you, welcoming in a little bit of extra energy starting class today. And take a few breaths here to yourself. In this strong and steady position, you feel the rise and fall of your chest. The expansion of the ribs as you fill every inch with air. And on your next inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead, reach the fingertips nice and tall. And then exhale, knit the ribs down, grab hold of the left wrist, and then reach the fingertips up and over towards the right. Keeping those ribs down to really explore space within the side body. All the way from the left hip through the rib cage, the armpit, the fingertips. Inhale, reach up. Now your next exhale, grab hold of the right wrist, reach once again up and over towards the left. Finding space all the way through the crest of the right hip through the arms of the fingertips. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. On the exhale, hands come through heart center, knees bend, hips hinge, forward fold. Feel free to grab hold of the backs of the legs, finding that compression, folding all the way down. Again, our class stays to be hands free as much as we can. Inhale, halfway lift, hands come to the shins, pull the heart forward, engaging the back body. Exhale, fold once more. On your next inhale, ground down through the soles of the feet, bend the legs, unravel the body all the way up towards standing, pressing the hip bones forward. And then peeling that energy all the way up through the fingertips as you reach tall. Exhale, hands to heart center. On your next inhale, shift the weight into the right foot. Left foot lifts, coming to staff pose. Knee comes to chest. Find your moment of stability here. And then we're gonna to start to fold the body forward because the left leg is going to reach back. You can find a slight bend in the right knee, like you're coming through Crouching Warrior because you're gonna reach the left toes back, 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 back. 
Inhale, up crescent lunge, just for a moment. And then on the exhale, slowly lower down, left knee comes to the mat. Reaching the fingertips up tall, pulling the left hip bone forward. And then exhale, hands through heart center, sit the hips back. Half splits, the right toes lift. Inhale, sweep the arms forward. Coming back into that little lunge, reach the fingertips up tall. Keep the back toes tucked. You're going to press through the back toes, lift the back knee. Crescent lunge once more. Keep the hip bones pulling forward. Feel the length in the left hip. And then spin the left heel down. Left toes come to the edge of the, the long edge of the mat, opening the body up into warrior two. Sink low. Straighten the front leg. Left arm comes down the back side of the left leg. Reach up, reverse triangle. Using the energy through the right fingertips, lift the body back up, engage the core. Bump the hips back, coming into triangle pose. Right fingertips come towards the earth, but they're not coming down to rest. You can rest on your shin if you need, but you want to keep the core engaged and active, keeping that lift and that length through the side bodies, reaching the fingertips up tall to help keep that energy directed upwards so you're not sinking in to that space. Now using the energy through the left fingertips and the engagement of the core, pull the body back up, facing the left side. Spin the right to toes towards the long edge of the mat. Inhale, five-pointed star, nice and tall. And then exhale, keeping the arms out wide, fold the body down. Keeping the back body engaged, fold, fold, fold. Then the hands can come to the outer blades of the feet if you want to find a little bit more compression, more activation here. Or again, you can grab the holds of the backs of the legs. Wherever you find your anchor point, Pull the chest broad and long, and then fold forward. Inhales, you're finding length. Exhales, you're exploring a little bit more depth if it's available to you. Inhale, halfway lift. You can rest your hands on your shins. Exhale, fold. Wherever you had your anchor point, open the arms back up, airplane arms, engage the back body, roll the shoulders open so the shoulder blades are engaged along the rib cage. Engage the core, lift the body up. Five pointed star once more. Spin the left toes towards the back of the mat, coming back into warrior. Sink into the left hip. Strong, open, chest is wide, keeping space as we move through this flow, because we don't have our hands to support us in certain motions, we want to use the core to stay engaged, keep the space, when we don't have that support from our hands to help create it. Use a little bit more strength as we move through class today. Exhale, straighten the back, the front leg. Reverse triangle. Right arm comes to the back leg, left arm leg reaches high. Expand and find space through the left side body, the left rib cage. Reach the left fingertips towards now the front of your mat, and then bump the hips back, coming into triangle pose. Right fingertips reach towards the sky. Left fingertips can float or they can rest on the shin, but stay strong and lifted within the left side body. Reach through the right fingertips, come back up, rebend into the left knee, spin onto the back right toes, inhale, crescent lunge. Readjust your stance as you move. Drop the back knee. Reaching the fingertips up tall, pulling the right hip forward. Exhale, sit the hips back, half splits. Left toes lift, fold over the left leg. Hands are staying at heart center, or they can be reaching back behind you, whatever counter balance, whichever counterbalance feels good for you. Inhale back up to that runner lunge, runner's lunge. Press through the back toes, lift the back knee. And then you can bring your hands to heart center, fold over that left leg, so you can drag the left right toes back behind you, coming back into staff pose. Right knee drives up towards the chest. Find your balance for a moment. And then the right foot comes back down towards the earth. So we're gonna move through that, back and forth on the mat. 
We're gonna go through a few rounds here. We're gonna make our way back towards the front of the mat. So on the next inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Right knee now comes in towards the chest. Hands can stay up overhead or you can bring them through heart center. Whatever counterbalance feels good for you. You're gonna bend the left knee as the right leg lifts back behind you. Take it nice and slow and steady. Control the transition. Right toes reach long back behind you. Right toes plant. Inhale, crescent lunge. Pause here for a moment. Pull the hip, right hip bone forward. Sink low in the hips. Drive the back heel. Fingertips reach tall. Keep that length. Drop the back knee. Feel that change in sensation through the front of the right leg. And then exhale, sit the hips back, half splits. Replant the left foot. Sweep the arms up and overhead. Press through the back toes, lift the back knee. Spin the right heel down, toes open towards the right side of the mat. Warrior two. Open the collarbones. Nice and long, nice and wide. Press the heart forward. Reach the fingertips long. Sink the hips well. Press the left knee to straight. Right hand comes to the back of the right leg. Left fingertips reach up tall. Finding that space. Use the energy through the left arm. Reach the fingertips up tall. Engage the core. Bump the hips back. Right hip bumps back. Left fingertips come to the earth. Right hand lifts. Triangle pose. Energy now through the right fingertips. Reach up towards the sky and reach back behind you. Core engages to lift the body back up. Spin the right, the left toes towards the long edge of the mat. Inhale, find a tall, long pose, five-pointed star. Exhale, forward fold, hinge of the hips. Back body long and engaged as you forward fold. Grab hold of the pinky edge of the feet or the backs of the legs to pull the body down, keeping the spine long. Inhale, find length, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And press the energy through the shins, keep the back body long. Exhale, fold forward. Arms come wide, chest lifts, and then on your inhale, engage the entirety of the trunk to lift the body up. Spin the right toes forward. Bend the right knee, warrior two. Sinking low in the hips, long in the arms. Press the right leg to straight. Left hand goes back down the left leg. Right fingertips reach up and over. Maybe lifting the heart towards the sky. Reach the right fingertips towards the front of the room. Bump the hips back, reach down, triangle pose. Keeping that lift within the right side body, not allowing yourself to collapse in that space. Inhale, reach the left fingertips back behind you. Rebend the right knee, spin onto the back toes. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, drop the back knee. Inhale, pull the left hip forward, reach the fingertips long. Exhale, fold over that front leg, half splits, right toes lift, hips sink back behind you. Inhale, reach the fingertips back, rebend the right knee, press through the back leg, lift the back knee. And then hands can stay up overhead or they can bring back to heart center, fold over that right leg, drag the left toes back behind you, coming through. Crouching warrior just briefly to transition up into staff pose. Right knee lifts, left knee lifts in towards the chest. And then drop the left leg, meeting the right. Inhale, arms sweep up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more round, moving back and forth one more time. On your next inhale, shift the weight into the left leg, right leg lifts. That soft bend in the left knee, right leg lifts back behind you. Any counterbalance that works for you, soft landing of the right toes. Inhale, crescent lunge. 
Exhale, sink the back knee. Keeping that height, that reach of the fingertips. Inhale, pull it all up and in. Exhale, sit the hips back, left toes lift. Inhale, left foot plants, arms reach up overhead. Press through the back toes, lift the back knee. Right heel spins, open up warrior two. Straighten the left leg. Right arm reaches back alongside the back of the leg, keeping that lift within the left side of the chest to keep the weight out of that right arm. Inhale, left fingertips reach up and towards the front of the room. Bump that right hip back, come down, triangle pose. Keeping that reach through the right fingertips, peeling the chest towards the long edge of the mat. Keep that reach so you can pull the body back up. Left toes spin towards the long edge of the mat. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Find your anchor point, whatever hold feels good for you. Wherever you're holding on to, elbows are wide, pulling the chest down towards the earth, keeping the spine long. On that inhale, and then exhale, fold a little bit deeper. Inhale, find length, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, engage the back body, drive the shoulder blades down the rib cage. Exhale, fold once more. Release any bind or hold you had, arms come into airplane. And then inhale, engage the back body, keep the core tucked and strong. Five pointed star. Right toes to the back of the mat. Sink low just for a moment into warrior two. Restraighten the right leg. Left arm comes down the back of the leg. Inhale, right arm reaches up. Pulling and pressing the right rib cage up and forward. And then reaching the right fingertips to stay as light and lifted off of that back arm as you can. Reach the fingertips in that big, big arch. Fingertips reach forward, bump the left hips back, left hip back. As you pin wheel the arms down, triangle pose. Peeling the chest towards that long edge of the mat, staying light and lifted in the right side body. Left fingertips reach back behind you. Rebend the right leg, coming into warrior pose, warrior two for just a moment. Spin onto the back toes, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, drop the back knee. Staying light, staying long in the front of the left side. Exhale, sit the hips back. Half splits. Inhale, replant the right foot, press through the back toes, lift the back knee. Crescent lunge for just a moment. Pulling that left hip forward, feel that length, that sensation through the front of the left side. Hands can stay up or at heart center. Lean over the front leg, drag the left toes back behind you. Crouching warrior for just a moment as you pull the body through up to staff pose. Left knee to chest. Exhale, left leg plates. Excellent job. We're just going to make our way back to the front of the mat. Inhale. Take a breath to prepare. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up and over. Hands to heart center. Shift the weight onto the left foot. Right knee up and in towards the chest. Find your balance. Soft bend in the left knee as the right foot reaches back and behind you. Coming through Crouching Warrior for just a moment so you can find that soft landing. Inhale, press and lunge. Exhale, drop the back knee. Inhale, pull the right hip forward, reach the fingertips up tall. Exhale, sit the hips back, left toes lift. Fold forward, half splits. Inhale, sweep up. Press through the back toes, lift into crescent lunge. Spin the right hip back and down, open the body up, warrior two. Keep the collarbones long, feel that length all the way across the chest, all the way reaching through the fingertips. Press the left knee to straight, 
right arm comes back along the leg as the left fingertips reach up and back into the space behind you, peeling the chest up towards the sky, keeping that lift through the fingertips to stay light. Reach those fingertips again towards the front of the mat. Bump the right hip back, come down. Triangle pose. Keeping that chest open. The right fingertips reaching tall. Reach the right fingertips towards the sky and into the space back behind you, coming up. Left toes spin towards the long edge of the mat. Five pointed star, inhale. Exhale, keeping the back body engaged. Fingertips reaching long, airplane arms as you fold forward. Grab hold the pinky edge or the backs of the ankles, the calves, wherever your hold feels natural. Inhale, find length, exhale, fold. Inhale, length, exhale, fold. Inhale, release your bind, airplane arms once more. Engage the torso as you lift, 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 lift. Press the hips forward. Spin the right toes to the front of the mat. Bend into the right knee. Warrior two for just a moment. Straighten the right leg. Left arm reaches back, right arm reaches up towards the sky. Open the front of the chest. Peel it open, press it towards the sky. Sweep the arm forward. Left arm lifts, bump the left hip back in space as you come down into triangle pose. Inhale, lift the body up. Sink down into warrior two once more. And then spin onto the back toes, crescent lunge. Reach the fingertips up tall. Pull the left hip forward and sink the hips down, driving that left heel back in space. Then keeping that integrity as you lower the left knee down towards the earth. Keep that height. Exhale, sit the hips back. Right toes lift. Replant the right foot. Inhale the arms up. Press through the back toes, lift the back knee. Fold the body forward over that right leg. Drag the left toes. Come through crouching warrior just a moment as you lift the left knee up and towards the chest. Exhale, left foot plants. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead once more. Grab hold of the left wrist. Knit the ribs down and towards your belly. Engage the core. And reach the left fingertips up and over towards the right. Finding that left side body stretch once more. Inhale. Switch the grip, grab hold of the right wrist. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, side body stretch towards the left. Exploring space to the right side. Inhale, up towards center. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up once more. Exhale as your hands come through heart center, sit the hips back, fold forward. Soft bend in the knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Pressing the knees back behind you, reaching the sit bones, the tailbone back behind you. Exhale, fold, grab hold of the calves, find that compression, soft bend in the knees. Let the head hang heavy. Finding that compression, soften the knees even more so you can feel the torso on your thighs. And then grab hold opposite elbows. Find right doll. Two more breaths. Find heaviness, find ease here. Find a gentle sway if that feels good for you. Release the bind. Sit the hips low so that they come onto the earth. And then lower down onto your back. Nice and slow, however you need to get there. Get there at your own pace. And once you come onto your back, your knees stay bent, feet stay flat onto the floor. 
Just windshield wiper your hips side to side, your knees side to side. And now come towards center, bring the feet, thighs, knees to touch, gentle tuck of the low belly, and lift the legs up to a 90-90 position. Arms can come into a capital T. Now let everything fall over towards the left. Coming into a gentle twist here. Feel free to rest your left hand on the outer edge of the right knee. Keeping that right arm anchored down to your the right shoulder blade anchored down. Let's explore that twist. Through the spine, into the hips. Two more breaths, breathing into that right rib cage, filling it as much as you can, exploring your capacity. Bring that left hand back to that capital T, engage the core, bring the legs back towards center. And then keeping that engagement in the core, allow everything to fall over towards the right. Left shoulder blade stays anchored into the earth. Allow the right hand to come to the outer edge of the left knee. And just take a few breaths to settle in here. Settle into your twist. Find some calmness. Breathing into the left rib cage. Take two more breaths, really filling it all up. Bring the right arm back to that capital T. Engage the core, bring the knees back towards center. And then drop the feet down to the earth. Extend the legs long. And take a really nice big open shavasana here. So allow your feet to come beyond the edges of the mat, the arms to come beyond the edges of the mat. Like you're coming into almost like that big five-pointed star, not quite as wide with the legs, if that's not comfortable. Just take up as much space as you can. Today during class, we explored all four corners, all four edges of the mat. Facing every which direction, but still remained in the confines of our little rectangle here. So feel free to expand beyond that here in your final rest. Feeling the rise and fall of the belly, the chest. How with every breath you feel your body just getting a little bit heavier, sinking a little bit deeper into the earth. With our little added bonus today, the the faux crackling fire in the background. So hopefully that little background noise is more settling and calming, helping bring a little bit more ease. As you enjoy the final breaths of practice, Allowing your body to settle in the energy that you just created through that pretty continuous movement that we just explored.
So whatever shape you came into to end class today, please feel free to explore that space for a few more breaths. Thank you so much for practicing with me today and I look forward to seeing y'all next time.